What's up? What's up, everybody? Yesterday, we took a look at SWC 2019 champion Les's account, and we saw what kind of artifacts he was putting on what units and how he's approaching who he wanted to focus on artifacting first. Today, we are on Tomato's account. You guys know who Tomato is, I'm sure. I don't have to explain. He's got three legend statues on his island. I don't have to really explain who Tomato is. He's won everything of- at least once, he's won everything that you can win. He's legend in RTA many times, he's legend in Arena many times, he's legend in Guild Wars, he's legend- he won championships, whatever. Tomato just is one of the most OP accounts, if not the- I mean, you could argue one way or another, but one of the most OP accounts in the game. You could argue who has the single most OP account, but he's definitely up there in like the top five. Anyway, let's go take a look at basically the same thing as we did with Les's account. We're going to take a look at what uh, Tomato has been focusing on artifacting first, and how he has been approaching uh, what kind of artifacts he wants to put on the different things. Now, a disclaimer though, before we get started, is I noticed that he's been focusing more on the uh, elemental type artifacts than the type artifacts. So he's been farming a lot of Steel Fortress more than he has the Punisher script, which makes sense to me because I look at the Steel Fortress, um, the Steel Fortress stats on the artifacts and I'm like, these are just more flexible, more valuable than the Punisher script, which is like, skill one, heal. It's like, that's a very specific kind of thing, right? So he's been focusing more on the uh, Steel Fortress, which I think is the smarter way to go, right? The Steel Fortress is easier. Um, well, I mean, it may or may not be faster depending on your teams, but it's the easier of the dungeons and it's got the more flexible artifacts, so definitely going for Steel Fortress first is, uh, is I think the best, uh, the best option. So anyway, I just wanted to mention that, that he does, there's a lot of things that where he has the left side artifact, but he doesn't have anything for the type artifact just yet, because the artifacts just came out, right? So you don't have, uh, he, he doesn't have everything just yet, but we can at least see like what direction he's going with these different things. Anyway, let's get it started. Let's see what actually has artifacts. Okay, so this is kind of what I was explaining, is he's got the left-hand side artifact, but nothing on the right for the type artifact. So let's see what he has here. Water artifact, additional damage by 11% of attack. It's good for any DPS unit. Additional damage by 0.4% of HP, additional damage by 2% of defense. Uh, and attack percent attack plus proportional to lost HP up to 3%. Unfortunately, it's only 3%, but attack plus proportional to lost HP is actually good for Chow, because a lot of times he builds him as a tanky bruiser, he takes some damage, and then he uh, he starts doing more damage. Um, what else are these good on? These are good, I, th I feel like these are good for like monkeys and dragon knights, and like anything like tanky bruisers, where they're gonna get hit a couple times, but they're not gonna die, and then they're gonna hit the enemy back. So like basically, Tanky bruisers, like like uh, like dragon knights and like uh, like monkeys, things like that. Anyway, let's take a look at these stats. Like, <laughs> let's take a look at the. Yeah. Just while we're here, we may as well take a look at the rest of the runes. So OP. <laughs> Everything he's got is OP, but we already know tomatoes OP. Okay, uh, he's got a chilling, so it looks like he's using chilling for probably one of those dungeons. Uh, let's see, he's on speed uh, speed attack HP. Probably just because, just because. Not necessarily that he wants speed attack HP, probably wants like speed crit damage HP would be better. Um, well, I know speed crit damage HP would be better, but he's just trying to get like some stats on it. He's like, let me just stick this on so I can do this dungeon. Uh, speed plus proportion to lost HP. Speed increasing effect, both things. Chilling does damage based on speed. Damage received from light. Okay, so this is for the Punisher script. That's that's kind of what I was saying. Is that's why people are reruning chilling. That's why people are using chilling again. Is for the Punisher script. Some people use it for Dragons B10 again, though. Some people are like, no, man, I'm using. This. I mean, start Dragons B12, Force of Habit, Dragons B12. A lot of times I say things. By the way, guys, I, I, I'm sorry for doing this. But I don't catch myself until I watch the video later. I'm like, oh, that's wrong. Why did I say that? Like, I'll call things the wrong names pretty often. I know you guys notice too. I mean the correct things. In my mind, it's the correct thing, but the wrong name comes out. Like, I'll say the Eladriel, and I'm looking at Artemiel. I'm like, Bago, that's Artemiel. Like, I know. I don't know why Eladriel, the word that Eladriel comes out of my mouth. But anyway, just the. <laughs> I, d I do know that. I do notice that. So, Camila. We'd be looking for a tanky bruiser kind of artifact on the left hand side. Damage received from dark minus 13%. That's very specific. 
Defense plus proportional to lost HP up to 6%. That's good for Camila. Attack uh, plus proportional to lost HP up to 6%. That's good for Camila. Damage dealt on fire plus 3%. Uh, that was a lot of, I don't know if that was intentionally, like the, the, the second and third ones are the things that I would go for for, uh, Camilla more than the damage received from Dark. Maybe it just happened to roll, that happened to roll that the damage received from Dark minus 13%, uh, was there. I, I don't know what specifically he's using this against. Maybe he's using this, uh, against, you know what, if you use Camilla in Guild Wars against Odin's, damage received from Wind would be really nice, uh, damage received from Wind... Uh, minus X percent would be really nice against those Odins. Um, just FYI. And this is, uh, the Camille is on, uh, attack, crit damage, HP, looks like. Aggro damage, HP. Boom, boom, boom. And destroy. Uh, let's see what else he has artifacted. Molong! So Molong probably has something, something, something tankiness based on amount of lost HP. That's what I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna assume. Uh, let's see. Additional damage by 104% of... <laughs> That's not the thing that uh, I would have wanted on Molong necessarily. Life drain uh, plus 3%. Damage dealt on light. Crit damage received minus 3. Additional damage by 104% of speed. See, this is not the uh, damage dealt on light. This is not the thing that I would necessarily go for on Molong. But uh, anyway, he's on crit, uh, HP, HP, HP. And I'm sure his Molong is on triple HP is probably still going to be faster than mine. He's not, but he's, he's close to being faster than mine on triple HP. Oh, tomato. <laughs> oh my god. 47,000. Good accuracy too. 78% accuracy. It's tomato runes, man. Tomato runes are crazy. Let's take a look at the... Uh, okay, so Galleon. Uh, so Galleon might be nice on... Something that's like uh, additional accuracy for skill 3. Excuse me, by the way. Uh, so what do we have? Additional damage by 44% of speed. Attack increasing effect plus 5%. He already attack. It's, it's already in his kit, so it uh, makes sense. Damage uh, dealt by attacking together plus 4%. Additional damage, 2% uh, of defense. I mean, it doesn't really scream Galleon, but uh, there you go. And Galleon's on uh, speed crit damage attack. Boom, boom, boom. I don't know if he's... I'm maybe just using this for arena offense. I'm not entirely sure. Where he's... Because he's not... He doesn't use Galleon in RTA. <laughs> or maybe he does. I don't know. Sometimes Tomato just uses whatever Tomato wants to use in RTA. We we, we all know this. Okay, so Elusia. Maybe something like a skill to... Heal. Well, the skill to heal would be on the right-hand side artifact. The type artifact. Not the left-hand side artifact. But this may be extra attack. Um... I don't know. Let's let's see. Maybe like extra attack, each extra tankiness, uh, damage mitigation, additional damage by thirty eight percent of speed, damage received under inability effects, attack percentage, prof attack plus proportional to lost HP. So the third one makes sense. The third one I think makes the most sense here because she heals based on her attack power. So if she takes damage and she's like, oh, I'm I'm like really low on HP, her attack power is boosted up, and then she's gonna heal herself for more. And then damage received under in inability effects. But he also didn't upgrade this one, so I'm, I wouldn't go too crazy uh, thinking about HP. Uh, speed, HP, HP. And also trying to get some uh, attack and subs, I'm sure. He's got a lot of tankiness and subs just in general. Uh, and then we have Mina, and she's looking like she's on attack, crit damage, attack. No, I'm, I'm sorry. Speed, sp probably rage, speed, crit damage, attack. Is she? What is she on? No, she's on speed crit damage attack on swift 204. That's that yeah, that's not enough uh that's not enough for rage. That's not enough for rage. Speed crit damage attack. Actually, that's uh, I mean aside from the speed. Well, you know, you don't you don't even need that uh that much crit rate on her anyway. That was some wacky stuff. I was like, uh, what is this specifically on? So, anyway. The nice thing about it like here here's the thing, the crit why are we looking at the runes? We're supposed to be looking at the artifacts. The thing is with the Mina, though, is she can snipe something with here, and her critical rate is at 100%. So um, if she needs to snipe a vert heal, she can snipe a vert heal uh, or, or an Antares turn one. And then when it comes to uh, dealing with Miho, all you need is like one debuff on Miho, and then her crit rate is 15%, and she's going to have no problem dealing with Miho. Um, so anyway, we have uh, additional damage by 51% of speed. 
That's good for her because you build her fast. Crushing hit damage, 6%. Damage received under inability effects, minus 3. Damage dealt by attacking together, plus 1. So basically, the, the biggest thing I think he probably wanted on here is the additional damage uh, by 51% of speed. That's that's what I would assume that he was going for. So now we have the... Um, now we have the... Why does it keep the old runes still on the screen after you switch, uh, switch units? So Vigor, uh, maybe he's got like some additional healing tankiness kind of stats on here so it's probably speed per damage hp probably like 260 270 <laughs> it's tomato 300 speed on violent will let's see it oh my god <laughs> oh my god i mean i was being sarcastic it's it's basically 300 speed on violent will why do I even- Thank God not everyone has tomato runes, really, because this is obscene. Okay, uh, speed, crit damage, HP, 30- Oh, God! Oh my god, <laughs> Oh, these runes make my runes, like, look like garbage. Wow. Don't even say it, don't say Pago, your runes are garbage. Shut up, shut up, listen. Additional damage by 40% of speed, and he's fast. Speed increasing effect plus 11%, and he gives himself his own speed uh, increasing effect, so you don't even have to worry about, like, make sure you pair him with a speed buffer, because he's got that already in his kit, which is very important. Um, uh, to make sure that, like, instead of having to combo something together, having it already combo with itself. Uh, defense per, uh, plus proportion to lost HP, and additional damage by 4% of attack. So I think those are very nice on there, and we saw the... Uh we saw that. So Vanessa, I'm guessing just tanky stuff. <laughs> he didn't have runes on Vanessa. I'm sure he has runes on it in RTA. Additional damage by 3% of attack, uh, by 2% of HP, 0.2% of HP and crushing hit damage. It's not upgraded though, so don't don't go too crazy about it. I'm just curious. Oh, it's not that it's not that insane. It's not it's not as it's not as insane as it could be. I mean it's a still a really good Vela Jewel. But, I don't know, I was expecting another 300 speed violent unit. And I was, I was getting ready to just cry. I really was. Okay, let's take a look at uh, Vertiheal. So Vertiheal is b bomb damage. Nice. Um, but I mean, what are you going to use a fire artifact with bomb damage for anyway? No one really builds JoJo. Uh, additional damage by 4% of HP. 0.4% of HP. Life drain. Life drain. Uh, crit damage received minus 3. So not like... It, it doesn't scream like, oh my god, definitely Vertiheal, but it's okay. It's got some, you know, life drain. He already has a life drain on his uh, skill one anyway. And crit damage received. It's not it's not terrible. It's at least an artifact of some kind. <laughs> Gotta make sure you get that uh, Vertiheal bomb damage. Next balance patch, they're gonna put a bomb on Ver Could you even imagine if they put a bomb on Vertiheal? That would be first pick every time. First pick Arte every time. Bomb on Vertiheal. Every turn. Oh my god, that would be disgusting. That would actually be the most disgusting. <laughs> they'll never do it, don't worry. They'll never do it. Uh, anyway, Perna, again, tanky bruiser stuff. Extra attack, uh, less each, uh, more defense or more attack when he receives some damage, kind of something like that, right? Uh, additional damage by 92% of speed. Uh, I wouldn't actually expect that on the Perna. Defense increasing effect, plus 2. Defense uh, plus proportion to lost HP up to 11. That's kind of what I was talking about. And crushing hit damage, plus 2. Uh, attack, crit damage. Actually, that's not a crazy, crazy Perna. It's still a really good Perna, but it's not as, uh, I was expecting it to be a little crazier, I guess. Yeah, that looks like my Perna, so he definitely, <laughs> so he definitely nerfed the Perna runes, for sure. Perna is not, uh, Perna? Perna's not, uh, that, that viable in RTA anymore, you know what I mean? Uh, it's, it's not, the. Um, well, he, never mind, he has two Pernas. Clearly, this must be the one with the worst runes, if it looks like mine. Um, anyway, here's the Vertiheal. This is a solid overall. Look at all the stats, man. I don't want to make this a complete, like, just, like, let's look at every single um, rune build on his account kind of thing. Because we already saw that many times. Uh, okay, so for Bulldozer, he's got damage dealt on wind plus 4%, which is nice. You usually bring him against uh, wind units. Defense increasing effect plus 11%. Fantastic. Uh, additional damage, 72% of speed. Probably not. That's not what he was going for. Damage received from light... Minus 9%. Why do you specifically go for this? Damage received from light. Maybe he uses it a lot against uh, light paladins? P 
possibly. But the defense increasing effect plus 11% is definitely what you would go for on Bulldozer. And the flat defense primary stat is also the primary stat you would go for on Bulldozer as well. So both the primary stat and the, uh, the defense increase effect are the, the biggest things on here, in, in my opinion. Wait, the other ones aren't bad. It's just those, those are the ones that make the most sense. Anyway, uh, we have Deafness. Let's take a look at Deafness. He's on uh, attack, crit damage attack, I'm sure. Yep. And more tomato runes. This is not upgraded. Defense plus proportion to lost HP. Makes sense. He loses his HP by himself, right? Attack increasing effect plus two. Good if you're using Fran or Basset with him. Damage dealt on fire plus 2% uh, as well. But it's not fully upgraded, though. And then we have a lot of these that don't have uh, any things. And we have Kumar. Let's see what Kumar has. Damage dealt on light plus 6%. Why specific? Maybe wasn't going for that specifically. Uh, HP plus 1,500, though. He's got 1,500 eight extra HP on this. And it looks like it is HP crit damage HP on him. Yep. HP crit damage HP. I don't know why it's not clicking when I do the, the, the slot 4. Yep, but this is not even on his like best sets or anything. Additional damage by 7% of HP. Sorry, 0.7%. Damage received from fire, negative uh, 3. Uh, damage dealt on fire, plus 2. So I, I'm sure he's just using it in Guild Wars. But uh, maybe, maybe his biggest reason for using this artifact specifically was the plus 1500. I don't see anything that completely stands out, but maybe he knows... Like, aside from the plus 1500 HP, but maybe he's, uh, he's like, oh, this valuable whatever um yeah you know what i mean this would be this would be good for like against a light paladin and perna guild war team right this that's kind of what this is this is looking like but maybe it's just because like okay it's just because it's stats and he wanted to put something on him uh, another bulldozer it's going to probably be the same additional damage by six percent of defense very similar crushing hit damage plus six uh percent damage received damage dealt by reflect damage Plus 5%. Nice. Damage received from fire, minus 7%. So mostly, I think for a bulldozer, you just want to try to go for um, extra damage by defense. Like more more defense and, and crit damage on bulldozer. Because you're just on... You see, you, you, you love, this, uh, you love this, this build on this bulldozer. I don't know why he's... Uh, maybe just for the stats, I don't know. But it's weird. it's weird that he's not on Rage, right? It's weird that he's not on Rage. Uh, let's see this one. This one is HP when revived, plus 4%. Damage dealt on water, uh, plus 7%. Defense proportion to lost HP. Damage dealt by attacking together. That's what I think he was going for, is that damage dealt by attacking together, because that's really great on the Fire Nagami. That's really great on Twins. Uh, so that's, I feel like, would be the number one priority for that. And then the extra flat attack, right? And he's just on speed for damage attack. And... Probably his 700th best uh, <laughs> Violent Will set, which is still <laughs> still really ridiculously good. Uh, and then we have nothing crazy here. We have Illusion, so Illusions I'm sure are going to have extra attack. Not even, not, not really any like extra attack probably based on lost HP or anything like a tanky bruiser kind of thing, but more just like extra attack. And also if it's under an attack power buff, more attack. It's probably an attack primary stat too. So attack primary stat, damage double effect, reflect damage, irrelevant. Additional damage by 9% of attack, good. That's what we're looking for. Speed plus proportion to lost HP, up to 5%. That's probably not really what he was focused on. HP and revive, that's also not what he was focused on. He was just mainly probably focused on the attack uh, plus primary stat and the additional damage by 9% of attack. And then we have, uh, and then this is the um, Lucian stats. It's a fat, fat Lucian that is... All, well, it's actually... It's kind of like both. Yeah, it's kind of like a... It's kind of like a fat Lucian and a fast Lucian. It's like an in-the-middle Lucian. Anyway. Uh, so, Ciara... Ciara has... Ciara's good enough that she... She has both. Speed attack HP. Boom, boom. Music still. No, music is not running. When did the music stop? Maybe I'll put some music. If, if, if there was a lot of music missing, maybe I'll put some in uh, after the fact. I didn't realize the music was gone. Anyway, uh, left hand side speed increasing effect plus 6%. Damage received from wind minus 10%. Damage dealt on dark plus 10%. Additional damage by 3% of HP. But not by. 
bomb damage, but not bomb damage. Of all the units that not have bomb damage on here. Uh, then we have the attack artifact, speed under inability effects, defense increasing effect plus 7%. Um, tech plus proportion to lost HP. A lot of times people like to do the Ciara's uh, like tankier builds. Depending on how the Ciara is built, this is just an everything. But a lot of people do, like it depends. If it's an arena offense Ciara, then I would say attack primary stats for both the left and the right, right? Uh, but here he has the HP and he has the defense. It's of course an RTA Ciara. It's low crit rate. Some people like to do low crit rate against things like ragdolls and Artemiel teams, right? Some people like to do high crit rate for turn cycling and they like to use it with Vertiheal. With Vertiheal and Ilyana. So there's two different strategies as far as uh, as far as that's concerned. But um, but yeah, we have speed under ability. I mean, it's just, it's, I, I, I don't think this is as premium as like, he will eventually have something else on it that makes more sense on Ciara. Like, like bomb damage of all the units to not have the bomb damage. Of all the units, do you, Tomato, do you need some bomb damage uh, artifacts? Because I have plenty. I have, you can, ha there's so many. <laughs> there's so many. Uh, anyway, let's take a look at what we have on Hathor. She probably has, well, she, do you think she's going to have speed under inability effects? Because she's usually the culprit of the inability effects. Uh, let's see, bomb damage. <laughs> this is the bomb damage. Oh my god. Damage received under inability what? I feel like I'll put that on Ciara. That's just me, though. I feel like I'll put that on Ciara. And, uh... Well, there's the extra damage dealt on Dark, which doesn't really make any... doesn't matter. But anyway, let's take a look at... Uh, this is Hathor's Roots. Speed, HP, HP, I'm sure. Nice five-star runes on Hathor. Uh, then we have Ganymede has another one additional damage by... This is not even uh, upgraded, though. 40% uh, of speed, defense portion to lost HP, speed increasing effect. But it's not upgraded, so who knows if he's going to just stick something else on there uh, eventually. Look at these non-rage copper bulldozers. Although double guard copper, because he does have that requirement to uh, that he needs to have double the enemy's defense to actually activate his ignore defense. And he does plenty of damage. He does more damage than Bulldozer uh, anyway. So it's just defense, crit damage, defense. Um, but it's on double guard, double guard will. Uh, so anyway, what the, what's his artifact? Defense plus proportion to lost HP, damage received under inability effects, and defense increasing effect plus four. So here's, it's plus seven. So here's what this tells me. I'm gonna use my, uh, my, my Sherlock bagel uh, on this. He was trying to go for defense increasing effect upgrades. It didn't get that, and it got the defense plus proportion to lost HP and possibly the damage received under inability effects. Uh, it looked like it went one into each of those. I don't know the numbers off the top of my head already because it just came out, but it looks like he got the, the wrong upgrades, not the upgrades he wanted. So he's like, I'm not gonna upgrade this anymore. I'm gonna look for a better artifact because it didn't roll into the things that he wanted. So that's just what that tells me. Anyway, uh, let's see what we have for this guy. Additional damage by 23% of speed. Uh, life drain plus 1%. Speed proportion to lost HP up to 4%. But it's not upgraded though. It's not upgraded, so he's probably something that he's like, I'm gonna just get something better. So this one is upgraded. Uh, damage dealt by attacking together. Bomb damage plus 7%. <laughs> maybe this, maybe, you know, maybe this was uh, on CR or something. And he changed it. Additional damage, 4% uh, of HP, damage dealt on fire, plus 3%. Maybe he just, maybe just because it's extra defense and he maxed it for that reason. Maybe. I don't know. Because that's not the things that I would necessarily want on, uh, there's much better for Feng Yen. And I'm sure he's going to have better stuff as time progresses that makes more sense. Because this is not like super like, oh my god, this Feng Yen is, uh, needs this super great on Feng Yen. <sighs> Everything he has is so crazy wound. So crazy ruined. By the way, uh, Feng Yen doesn't need crit rate, crit damage. He awakens stupidly, calm to us, stupidly awakens into crit rate. He doesn't need crit rate, crit damage, just ruin him speedy, uh, and a lot of defense and a lot of HP. And also the resistance, he's got 57% resistance. Good resistance on Feng Yen is, is kind of important because people like to use uh, bombs on Feng Yen. Also, people like to use ignore, def uh, ignore defense on Feng Yen. That's why he needs, one of the reasons he needs good HP. 
defense. They're like, oh, Feng Yan, I'm just going to ignore defense. I'm just going to bulldozer him or whatever. So if he can withstand a bulldozer, then that's that's great. But he also has it on uh, Endure also. Anyway, yeah, that's the that's the stats on him. That's not uh, none of that stuff. So Diana has two artifacts. Let's take a look at Diana. She's on HP, crit damage, HP, I'm sure. Yep. HP, crit damage, HP. Uh, there you go. There's the stats on Diana. 40-something thousand. She doesn't really need too much accuracy because she's got multi-hits and if she procs and gets another cycle and does it again, she's going to strip at, at some point, however many, but if they got two buffs, she's going to strip everything. She's got four hits, right? So even if she gets resisted on a couple, she's still going to strip them. Um, anyway, uh, for Diana, she has damage dealt on fire plus 4%, damage dealt by reflect damage plus 4%, additional damage by 8% of HP, damage received from fire minus 6%. So the HP... Uh, primary stat plus the damage received from fire is probably what he was going for. That's what I would have gone for on this artifact more than anything else. Because a lot of times, like if taking Diana in, people are going to be targeting her with fire. I mean, other units aside from fire, but a lot of times they like to target Diana with fire units. Um, and then here we have oh, here's extra accuracy for her. there we go. Crushing hit damage plus uh, 8%, additional damage by 3% of HP. So he's got additional damage by percent of HP on both of these skills. Um, or both of these artifacts. This is a defense. This is an HP. Uh, and then the extra accuracy. So extra accuracy for... Well, that's not even the, the skill 3. That's So that's nothing, basically. Because skill 3 accuracy is the skill 2 that does the turn cycle and the strips. Skill 3 accuracy is basically a nothing stat. Uh, so skill 1 accuracy is the only one because it stuns, right? So anyway, uh, there we go. Louise. Let's take a look at what Louise has. HP primary stat, speed plus proportion to lost HP up to 3%. Okay. Uh, damage received under inability effects, damage dealt on water plus 3%. But he didn't upgrade, he's looking for better stuff. But these are the runes on his, uh, just FYI, these are the runes on his Louise. Nice to see someone showing, uh, showing love to Louise. Solid stats. So he's got so, all of his violent will sets are so great. Like all of them are like as good as my best ones. Or better. Or better, like his worst ones are as good as my best ones. That's sad for me only. Uh, so here we have uh, HP plus 1500. Primary stat, that's the one that makes the most sense. Uh, damage received from water, minus 3. Additional damage by 7% of HP. Damage received from fire, minus 10%, which is big because a lot of times you're targeting Skogel with fire units. Damage dealt on dark, plus 3%. I think he was mainly just going for the HP primary stat and the damage received from fire. Uh, stat, mostly. This additional damage by 0.7% of HP is not bad for an HP unit, but, uh, but yeah, I'm sure that's what he was mostly going for. We have Odin. I'm sure Odin's gonna have, like, attack and extra damage, just trying to squeeze out extra damage from him. Watch, I'm wrong. Uh, oh, it's not even upgraded. Damage dealt on win, crit damage received. But it's not, uh, it's not upgraded, because he wants to change this out for something better. And what does he have for some of these other ones? You know, he only has one or Uh, attack, increasing effect, plus 7%. Damage dealt on water, uh, plus 6%. Da additional damage by 6% of attack. Attack portion to lost HP up to 9%. And attack plus... That's a lot of attack. That's a lot of extra attack. I wouldn't have thought that that's how he would have gone with it. But it's tomato, so I'm sure he has a... Uh... I mean, it's not bad. It's, it's not bad. She does do some damage with skill, too. That's not as good as Baryon's. I'm just saying. That's... <laughs> Throwing Shade Vega, oh my god. Uh, but yeah, she does do some damage with skill too, so that's not uh, that's not bad. And I'm sure she's got, yeah, she's on uh, crit damage. But it's damage based on her speed, though. That's the thing. With skill 2, it's damage based on her speed. So, of course, her f ridiculously fast on Violent is uh, is great. I just, I thought it would be different, but I'm sure eventually he's going to have a little bit different uh, on this, tailored for specifically what he needs it for. Uh, let's take a look at Tian Lang. HP plus 15 makes sense. It's an HP unit. HP plus 15 uh, 1500. HP revived 6%. Additional damage by 3% of defense. Damage dealt on win plus 4%. I don't think that this is specifically what he's going for. That's just that's just my feelings on that. I, I think that he's probably going for speed HP. HP. 
uh, of course. But I think he's probably going to be go switching this out for something that makes a little bit more sense. And he's probably going to go for extra, because what is the accuracy? 53%? He's probably going to go for extra accuracy on like skill 1, skill 2 on the uh, type artifact on the right hand side. Uh, then we have... Seema doesn't even have... He, look, he's got the Jin, not ruined. But he's he's got him. He's got him. Uh, so he's got plus 171. It's juicy, man. Uh, speed, HP, HP. 24, 26, 28, 26, 25. Every rune set he has is so... <laughs> Violent will everything, and it's so fast. Everything, why is everything... He doesn't even need to hide anything. This is probably the same... For a lot of this, it's probably the same rune as his RTA stuff, and it's just like, it doesn't matter, because he doesn't need to hide everything, because he's just, like, better than everyone else. <laughs> that's what it is, though. That's, that's what it is. Anyway, let's take a look at this. HP and revive. Plus six percent. A lot of times, people like to first pick, um, like pocket pick the Vanessa friend. That's pretty popular. Defense plus a hundred, uh, flat hundred. Speed plus. I wonder if defense plus a hundred is because Fran has low base defense. So defense plus a hundred. The flat defense might be even better than percentage. I have to like go and take a look at the math behind it, but just the just the thought, just thinking out loud. Speed plus proportion to lost HP up to eight percent. Attack increasing effect. Plus 3%, she has an attack increase uh, by herself. Damage received from light, minus 5%. You know, Artemis and Jaegers and stuff like that in RTA. Uh, let's take a look at this one. She has damage received from fire, minus 14%. So it looks like he was specifically going for that. Damage dealt on water, plus 4, which is pointless because she's not a DPS unit. Damage dealt by reflect damage plus four percent uh, additional damage by two percent of defense so the third the the second third and fourth unit uh, skills are basically we don't care but i wonder if he specifically was going for the damage received by fire minus 14 percent he definitely of course went for the hp uh to make her even tankier that's actually slower than i th oh it's on <laughs> never mind it's unviolent <laughs> it's unviolent revenge that's why it's slower than i thought it was going to be god why does I was gonna say, why does he have so many good violent sets? I know why he has so many good violent sets. Don't worry, I know. Um, rehab packs and more rehab packs. And oh, they're letting me continue to buy rehab packs. I'm just gonna keep buying more rehab packs then. Oh, they didn't limit me? Well, I'm gonna keep buying more. That's why he has so many good uh, violent sets, by the way. Uh, and then we have a Chroma. Chroma's got a attack bar when revive. Is he really using it with, like, Vanessa that much? Damage received from water, minus 6%. Additional I mean, that may be good. I feel like that you, you would want more on that. Because, like, a lot of times, people like to use Molongs into, uh, into a Chroma. Additional damage by 6% of HP. Makes sense, right? You want, you want to be uh, tanky. And by the way, this is not a weird build for a Chroma. This is a pretty standard build. Uh, it's Bruiser and a lot of revenge. Because people have to keep hitting her. So, a lot of... Uh, so a lot of tankiness, and I mean, it's it's so hard to get these these stats on units though. It really is. Um, but one of the nice things is it's not going to suck up violent will sets because you can just stick a chroma on uh, triple revenge. Anyway, uh, Magnum. So one of the cool things about Magnum, he doesn't really need that much speed. He's a last pick kind of situation. He's just going to cut in, but you just need him to have a lot of damage, and also you do need to have some decent accuracy on him. Uh, so let's take. A, oh, he doesn't have. Right, right, right. Uh, let's see, Artemil. Defense, crit damage, defense. <sighs> but uh, Artemil's got extra defense. Makes sense. Defense plus portion to lost HP. Makes sense as well. Speed under inability effects. Also, this is kind of important for Artemil. Because as an Artemil owner, I can say... As an Artemil... Weird flex, but okay, Bagel. Um, a lot of times people will try to control CC Artemil, right? So if he increases his speed... Anytime he gets uh, CC'd, that's really good for Artemil because a lot of times, again, people will try to CC him. Damage dealt on water plus 7%. Oh, Lucia. Lucia Damage received from dark minus 3%. Gianna, right? Or, I mean, it's, pro it's probably just a whatever. It's probably not intended. It's probably just a defense plus portion to lost HP. It's probably what he was going for plus the defense primary stat plus the speed under inability effects was probably something that he was uh, excited about as well. So anyway, let's take a look at the, uh, anything else? 
attack plus proportion to lost HP. Additional damage by 48% of speed, attack increasing effect plus 7%, and he already increases his own attack. Uh, and additional damage by 5% of defense. I feel like the one that he was going for is the attack primary stat and the attack increasing effect are the two primary things that he was trying to get on that. It just has every. It has. A, he's not gonna do that much dots though. Ooh, he's not gonna be able to counter Miho with all those. Uh, with all those dots, right? Anyway, he's not gonna land. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's. I think what he's going for is the attack increasing effect, and and I guess the attack plus proportion to lost HP. He was really uh, going for that as well. I don't know how exactly he's like what uh, what comps he's using the Zeratu with. But uh, looks like he's using it as a uh, more of as a more as a bruiser because it's thirty thousand HP. Can we take a look at the runes? Yeah, attack for damage HP. Yep, bruiser, bruiser style. Uh, let's take a look at. So frigate has runes. I mean, it has a has an artifact, but it's not maxed. Additional damage two percent of attack. Damage dealt on wind plus four percent, but it's not maxed because it's not like something he's excited about. Uh, excited about using. He's probably going to. Uh, to upgrade it. So I need to change it. <sighs> Craziness. Uh, so what do we have? Extra attack over here. Damage dealt on wind plus 8%. Defense increasing effect plus 9%. I mean, she steals buffs anyway, but I don't think that's necessarily what he was going for. You know what? Actually, it is. Actually, it is. Because I'm sure he's actually using this... Well, possibly he's using this in the Steel Fortress. Steals all those buffs from the boss. So, Steel Fortress is a wind uh, wind team. I'm sorry, wind boss. Damage dealt on wind, plus 8%. Defense increasing effect. You're going to be stealing those defense buffs. And then additional damage. So, there you go. That's probably why that it's. Uh, that's probably why it's like that. Uh, additional damage by... So, he's got uh, HP, primary stat on here. Uh, additional damage by 5% of HP, 0.5%. Attack bar when revived, I'm sure that's not, that's just irrelevant. Damage received from water, minus 10%. I'm not sure what specifically he's using this for. Uh, what specifically he's, uh, if that was intentional. Uh, defense plus proportion to lost HP up to 6%. That makes a little sense on this, uh, on the Trissar though. So it's just on speed, HP, HP. With the revenge too. Why on revenge? Oh my god, that is a fast Tresor. 25, 26, 25, 27. Oh my god. That is a very fast Tresor. I was not expecting Tresor to be that fast. Alright, let's take a look at he doesn't have any artifacts on that. Uh, I'm sure this is like a defense plus uh kind of thing. Speed plus proportion to lost HP up to 9%. Defense plus proportion to lost HP. And she has a defense primary stat on here. Defense plus proportion to lost HP up to 14%. That's what I was expecting on there, honestly. That second one. Damage received from fire minus 3%. Defense increasing effect plus 4%. So he's going to, you know, use this with Tyrannus maybe. Uh, and then he's on just Violent Revenge. Because why not, right? Uh, and then we have nothing on this guy we have nothing on that guy we have nothing on anything else cool well you see he's building the sophia though you see he's like yeah sophia op anyway that's it for this one oh my god this was even longer than the last one that's what she said <laughs> wait a second <laughs> yes bagel ruins the video at the very end all right guys anyway you know we couldn't get through a whole video being just serious anyway that's it for this one Look, he's still got the Bella rune too. Speed, HP, HP. Super OP Bella. All right? Anyway, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys uh, got something out of it. Thinking about, like, what stats you may want on... Again, say, same with the last video we did, but thinking about what kind of stats you, you may want um, and what kind of skills you may want on these new artifacts for some of these different units. Anyway, that's it for this one. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you as always in the next one.